Okay, I did some paint tests last week. This has a nice mirror finish. Using this stuff right here, which I got from, I think it was AC Moore or Michaels, I don't quite remember. But it gives a nice finish. And right now I'm positioning these pegs, which attach the fins here, or the uh, engine flaps, I mean. I'm using a two-part epoxy to glue those into place, and then I'm going to screw them in from the inside so they're nice and strong. And uh, I had to attach them with the flaps on so I can position these two pieces. And I'm going to have to go in there with putty and fill in. As you can see, I'm going to have to fill in those cracks. So everything is uh, nice and smooth. So that's what I'm going to be working on today and doing a little bit more sanding. Okay, so now the pack has been primered. I know it looks exactly the way it was before, but I did use a white primer on the whole thing. I glued in these little finlets using a two-part epoxy and they're going to stay on there. I made this uh, wooden bracket to hold the kit while it's being painted. Uh, you can see in there I primered because this all had to be puttied. Uh, I did take some photos, before photos, of uh, what it looked like because uh, the inside surface was really uneven and it needed some puttying and smoothing and sanding and that uh, was a process, a multi-step process to get it to where I wanted to. And I also drilled some holes. You can see the holes back there. That's what holds the engines in place. There's matching holes behind here. That way they can be removed uh, if I wanted to ever put electronics in the kit. And there are two holes. One there and one there, which matches on either side of this so that this can get screwed in and also be removed if I wanted to. So at this point, I'm going to do some wet sanding. And for those of you who don't know what wet sanding is, it's exactly what it sounds. I sand it with this stuff, which is sandpaper. It doesn't really feel like it, but this is what they use on cars. And it's going to be wet and sand it, and it's going to keep this nice and smooth as possible. This is a little rough up here. The paint went on really good, but it, I can make it as smooth as possible. So when I hit it with my... Um, silver spray paint it's gonna look really really good so here we are right now primered and ready to go this is cured for a week so I know it's ready to sand and hopefully when I paint it it's gonna look yeah, nice and silver this. like that yeah, yeah. and before I paint I'm gonna use this this is a tack cloth I used this before I primered it's a, it's a sticky cloth that helps remove any dust from the surface and it works really well because dust, little dust particles will show up on the kit and I don't want to ruin it because of that. So, let's see how this looks after some wet sanding. And there it is, finally. And you can see my reflection in it, which is really cool. Just gave this a couple coats, let it tack up between each coat using this stuff right here, which Works really, really good. Got it at AC Moore. Got a backup can just in case. And uh, I'm really happy. Now, the thing with this paint, it's going to have to cure for a couple weeks before I can touch this. Because of all the oils that are in this paint, this is going to pick up fingerprints even a couple days from now if I touch it. Um, I wouldn't dare touch it today, but even if I touch it two days from now, it's going to leave a permanent fingerprint in the paint. If you've ever taken your car to get repainted, uh, they tell you not to wash it for a month because even though the paint feels dry, it's still soft. It hasn't tightened up yet. So this, I'm probably going to let go for a month before I touch it because it's not finished yet. These tips, I'm going to try not to touch it. The tips of the engines, of the rockets, are going to get painted brass, and then that line underneath it is going to be black. So I got to wait at least a month to be safe before I feel like it's safe to tape that off and hit that with the brass color. And then there's the radiator vent, which I also painted, and I wouldn't dare put that in there until everything's fully cured. And then what it is, I can glue the fan behind there, and I can attach the engines on the inside. And when all that's done, 
I can finally start working on the harness. The harness is a leather apparatus that's going to be made for this thing to complete it. And also I can wear it on my back, which is cool. So there she is. I've gotten so used to looking at this for the last month in white plastic and then with the primer. So to see it all painted in this uh, high shine silver just looks really sick. And I'm pretty excited. So we'll see what happens next.